Kevin Kiermaier's line drive sailed over right fielder Hunter Renfro's head and bounced off the short wall in front of the Boston bullpen and back onto the warning track. It ricocheted off Renfro and into the air it's a good thing he couldn't dot saved by an obscure rule and a bounce that was weird even for quirky Fenway Park, the Red Sox staggered Tampa Bay 6-4 Sunday night on Christian Vasquez's 13th inning walk-off homer to move one victory from eliminating the 100-win Rays from the AL Division Series. I was speechless, said center fielder Kike Hernandez, who had come over to back up Renfro. I don't know if you guys have seen that before. I've never seen that before in my life, I wasn't sure what was going to get called. I wasn't sure if the runners had to return. Like, I had no idea, he said. Luckily, it went our way. And you call it home field advantage if you want, call it whatever you want, but we won. Tampa Bay rallied from a 4-2 deficit to tie it in the 8th inning and it was still 4-all when Yandy Diaz singled with one out in the 13th. Then came the play that had the umpires scurrying for the rulebook and the Rays scratching their heads. Diaz was halfway from 2nd to 3rd when Kiermaier's ball bounced over the 5-foot high wall, and he easily would have scored had it remained in play. But the umpires conferred and went to the headsets before awarding Kiermaier a double and sending Diaz back to 3rd. Baseball Rule 5.05 states, any bounding fair ball is deflected by the field into the stands, or over onto a fence on fair or foul territory, in which case the batter and all runners shall be entitled to advance two bases. If I stayed at second, that's fine, Kiermaier said. But I was hoping to see that Yander scored, because he would have scored obviously. It's incredible that it worked out to their advantage just like that. Rays manager Kevin Cash said he watched the replay and it was obvious Renfro didn't knock it over the wall on purpose that's just the rule. That's the way it goes. It was very unfortunate for us, he said. I think it was fairly obvious that KK or Yandy was going to come around to score, but it didn't go our way. Said umpire crew chief Sam Holbrook, it's in the rule book. It's a ground rule double. There's no discretion that the umpires have. There's no, he would have done this, would have done that. It's just flat out in the rule book. It's a ground rule double, he said. Dot when play resumed, Nick Pavetta struck out Mike Zanino to end the inning and came bounding off the mound in celebration. Renfro walked with one out in the bottom half, then Vasquez hit the first pitch from Luis Patino over the green monster to end it. Dot Hernandez and Carl Schwarber each had three hits, including a homer, for Boston. Dot Hernandez singled in the first singled in the third and homered in the fifth to give him seven consecutive hits in the series. He went five for six with a home run and three doubles in Boston's Game 2 win, becoming the first Red Sox player ever with four extra base hits in a postseason game. Red Sox says Nate Evaldi allowed Austin Meadows to run homer in the top of the first, but Schwab led off the bottom half with a home run. Hernandez's fifth inning homer gave Boston a 4-2 lead. But the Rays tied it in the eighth when Wanda Franco hit a solo homer and Meadows and Randy Arozarena doubled. Garrett Whitlock struck out Zanino to end the inning dot with a run on first in the tenth. J.D. Martinez fouled off five pitches with two strikes and then hit one to straightaway center, where Kiermaier pulled it in right in front of the 379 foot marker dot in the eleventh. Arozarena stole second and was caught in a run down on his way to third, but he scrambled back to the bag safely. But he was stranded there when Pavetta struck out Zanino and Jordan Luplo to end the inning. Boston had a runner on first in the 11th when Hernandez hit a chopper into the hole between short and third. Franco went to his right to field it, then made a long throw that first baseman Luplo picked out of the dirt for the third out. Josh Schwarber, a star of the Cubs' 2016 World Series title who homered in the wild card game against the Yankees, also singled and scored in the third when Boston scored a pair of runs to chase Drew Rasmussen and take a 3-2 lead. He singled in the ninth before leaving for a pinch runner. But it was Schwarber's play in the field that ended him to the Fenway fans. After earning an error when he lobbed the ball over pitcher Nathan E. Valdez head on a grounder in the third inning, Schwarber was tested on a similar play made a more accurate toss in the fourth. He celebrated by raising both arms in the air and giving a fist pump, then tipping his cap to the cheering fans. Schwarber turned toward the dugout and laughed. Rays, Rose Arena slipped on his way to second base on his eighth inning double, then limped into the dugout while the Red Sox changed pitches. But he remained in the game. Red Sox, RHP Hansel Robles appeared to be experiencing discomfort after striking out Diaz for the second out in the eighth. 
He winced and stretched his shoulder, then gave up Rose Arena's double to tie it 4 4. The teams play again on Monday night, with the starters to be announced. Nick Pavetta had been expected to start for Boston and Patino for the Rays, but both pitched in Game 3. Red Sox manager Alex Cora said it would most likely be Eduardo Rodriguez. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.